if you are not informed, if you are not informed, or have enough information, or have enough information to speak of this situation, to speak of this situation, please do not, please do not respond to the media. Respond to the media. Leave it to the people. Leave it to the people. Who knows what they're talking about? Who knows what they're talking about? For you, to speak for you as a spokesperson. As a spokesperson. If there are people here, if there are people here who feel comfortable speaking, who feel comfortable speaking, please twinkle and raise your hand. Please twinkle and raise your hand. Come find me right here. Come find me right here. Anyone suggest that their signs are a little color? Anyone suggest that their signs are a little color? Just over here. There's, there's a, a lot more over here. here. There's a pile of motorcycle cops. There's, there's a pile, pile of motorcycle cops. cops. They said that they are here. They don't know why they're here. They said they don't know why they're here. They don't know why we're here. They don't know why we're here. They don't know why we're gathered. They don't know why we're gathered. And we know why we're gathered for the NDAA. We know why we're gathered. citizens as well as your fellow police officers why are you here that's it <laughs> thank you yeah. so first of all be before we begin how many of you here are here for the NDAA protest march the first time I have not protested the NDAA before this is your first time how many of you are here for the second time how many of you are here for the third time Thank you to those of you who've been here with us throughout the whole way. So, uh, as I began, there's a, a lot of things happening today, and there's a lot of things that I gotta address. There's a lot of announcements that I gotta um, give out to people to let us know what's going on, and I hope you guys can bear through with me. First of all, we have flyers that we're handing out to people who have questions about the NDAA and information on what we can do about it. Um, if someone could please volunteer to be a person that could hand it out and this person should be able to answer questions if people approach you and ask you questions about the NDAA. So whoever's comfortable with that, please come and help. All right, we got two people. Can everyone hear me back there? If you can't move closer. Okay. Um, so if, if, you, if I may take a few time, a, 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 little, a little bit of time to read what I feel is very important to this whole movement in general. So the first reason for me, the first and foremost um, important reason is that today is the one year anniversary that Mohammed Bouazi set himself on fire. Does everyone here know Mohammed Bouazi? So he was, he was a street vendor who was selling fruits on the street uh, on, in uh, Tunisia, and the military stopped him and prevented him from doing that. Their job, they, people there are suffering, they do not have jobs, they can't support their family, their family are dying. This man was depressed, he set himself on fire, and that ignited, he was the catalyst for the Tunisian revolution. Beyond that, he was the catalyst that started the Arab Spring. So I, I feel we owe a great deal of debt to this man, and I ask that we just take one minute to stand in silence, to stand in solidarity with this man who gave up his entire life for humanity. Without him, Occupy Wall Street may have not even started. Without him, none of us may have been here, to gather here to speak out about this. So I'm gonna ask for us to just stand in silence for one minute, just one minute to respect someone who gave up their life and blew out the flame for humanity. And that minute starts now. The second reason that we're called here today 
on December 17th is Bradley Manning. Do most people here know Bradley Manning? Okay, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat too much about that. We know that he's locked up without due process or trial for releasing U.S. diplomatic inf uh, cables, releasing videos regarding the Baghdad airstrike, and allegedly, all that information. I'm sorry. Allegedly released. Allegedly released to WikiLeaks, and he's he's being held without due process or trial. Today is Bradley Manning's 24th birthday, and he's sending that he's spending that time in jail. There's a proposal that we sing happy birthday to Bradley Manning and record this. I'm seeing someone here who's, who's recording and we're gonna ask to send this video to Bradley because there are people out there making videos to send to Bradley to make sure that he knows that he, what he has done is not done in vain and that we are here to still support him. We recognize him as an American hero and we recognize his sacrifice for the people to give to show the truth of what the government is doing. So I we are proposing that we sing happy birthday to Bradley Manning on count of three. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I hope you know that you have support from Portland, Oregon. Every, every single one of us here, thank you sincerely from the bottom of our heart for standing up for our country and, and giving the people the truth because the people deserve to know the truth. So thank you. The third reason that we're here on December 17th is that it's the third, it's the, the three month anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. Why is that a landmark, you may ask? In three months, what have we done? Can someone give me some examples of what we've done in, in three months? We've changed the national conversation. We've changed the national conversation. I stopped hearing about Cheetos. I'm hearing about corporate personhood. I'm hearing about big banks bailout. I'm hearing about predatory loans. I'm hearing about JP Morgans. I'm hearing about Goldman Sachs. I'm hearing about all these things I've never heard Americans spoke before. And we are waking up. We are waking up to those who yeah. say that Occupy Wall Street has not done anything. You are wrong. In three months, we have changed the national discussions on how we should deal with our government. Yeah. Yeah. We've also had to shut down the pork day. We successfully shut down the entire West Coast and prevented them from profiting over eight million, seven millions of dollars of profit. I say that deserves a lot of people. What else have we done? Los Angeles is the first major city to examine and remove corporate personhood from the Constitution. Yes. Yeah. 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 So the people out there who are saying that Occupy Wall Street do not have a demand, do not have a goal, I'm sorry, you are mistaken. The mainstream media is censoring the information and you are not yep. being given the truth. New York and uh, California governors have both proposed to Well, it, for those of you who don't know, Sam Adams also put forward a resolution that can be discussed by the public to also abolish corporate personhood. And if we get in Portland, so if we get 50 cities, this goes to Congress. This is something that's going to spread, and we got to support that, and we got to support his resolution. Yeah. Yeah. So can I get a yippee ki yay for our three months anniversary? Yippee The fourth reason, the fourth reason that we're here today is to stand in solidarity with Occupy DC. 
If I may, I'm going to read out a letter that was sent to me from Occupy DC by Sam. Hello all. I'm sorry for the short notice for this, but there isn't much time left to protest the NDAA and its erosion of our, city, or of our civil rights. It would allow the U.S. military to go on U.S. soil to detain U.S. <laughs> citizens for indefinite periods of time with no due process. It may get passed Monday or Tuesday, and we may and and we feel that that movement all across the nation again. I'm sorry, and we feel that movement all across the nation against this would be a good way to go. We will be protesting on Sunday, December 18th, against the against the part of the NDA that basically will turn America into a police state. This is a very real threat. And to people who are not aware of this, you need to, be, you need to wake up. To explain the danger, let me quote the bill, section 1032A, and let me just add a note that this was written before the provisions and the changes to the bill that was just signed by Obama. Covered persons, the requirement in paragraph one shall apply to any person whose detention is authorized under section 1031 who is determined, A, to be a member of, part of, social groups or organization that acts in coordination or pursuance to the direction, to the direction disrupting the influence of American of American base base corporations and B to be particip participated in the course of planning or carrying out active resentment towards the United States. So in short, this applied to us hardcore. <laughs> hardcore. Please, I beseech you, all of you, to bring this to your respective GA and as many fellow Occupy as you can. The, the only way to stop this is to get public support massively behind us, which is what we're doing right now, and bring as much media attention to this as possible. If they can please portray it in a manner that is appropriate and truthful. I am begging you, do this with us, for all of us, for the sake of freedom, lest it be taken away by the 1% who don't want our message to be heard. With love and extreme amounts of solidarity, Sam. I would, I'm very honorable and proud to say that Portland has been probably the first city to pioneer and starting the NDAA march. This is our third march and we've been marching since That's Sunday, morning now. Sunday morning three weeks ago. We've been on this the moment we got the petition letter from the ACLU stating the section 1031 and 1032 of the, uh, of the senator's version in 1867. This is how light was shed on this bill. The House of Representatives version, the 1540, was secretly written by McCain and McKeon and Levin and passed by May 26th. No one knew about this until the ACLU stepped up and informed us. And Portland stepped on it immediately with support from everyone here. Every one of you. So every one of you deserve a pat on your back. With that said, I think it's very obvious and very clear why we are here. Yeah. Now, we are about seven minutes away from seven, which we will then start to march immediately. And I want to make some quick announcement on our march on our route. Does everyone also know that today is SantaCon Day? <laughs> yes. So, as one person said, this is when this, the drunken Santa go do their pub crawling and run loose. <laughs> Why am I mentioning this? Well, in the past, they have been aggressive and they have been violent. We do not want to have conflict with them, especially with the police around who may be targeting us because we are now terrorists, according to Obama. 
So I implore you, if you run into an encounter with Santa Con people dressed in Santa clothes, don't and fight they're, Santa. <laughs> don't fight Santa, and if they seem drunk, politely walk away, and we're gonna try to avoid the route where they're walking around. I have their map, I have their route, and I'm gonna try to do my best to lead us away from that. One of the possibility is that if they're informed about the NDAA and decide to join us, yes. more power to our message. <laughs> the chances of that, however, are is very slim. slim. <laughs> so we're going to do our best to avoid SantaCon. With that said, the basic route that I would like us to head through is first, we're going to start marching down towards Pioneer. Because the street downtowns are all one way, we will be walking towards um, Burnside, and then we're going to be looping around in a loop. Does that make sense to everyone? Yes. The reason for this is to get maximum exposure. Burnside is a very busy street, as is 4th Avenue, 3rd Avenue, and all those streets. And that's why we're doing the loop. We're going to return back to Director's Park at approximately 9.30, and we will adjourn by around 10 o'clock. Is everyone okay with that? Yes. 